plastic. We use it to make almost anything we can imagine. In fact, since the start of its widespread use in the 1950s, we've produced an estimated 8.3 billion tons of it. Today, the production of plastic, including polystyrene, stands at 360 million tons a year. By 2025, it's expected to be 500 million tons. 40% of plastic is used for packaging, and most of that is single-use. In 2018 alone, that added up to 144 million tons. So where does all that plastic and polystyrene go? 9% is recycled. The process can be costly in terms of time and energy consumption, and it leads to low-quality plastics with limited usability. 12% is burned, and although this reclaims some of the energy, it also releases CO2 and toxic gases into the atmosphere. 79% sticks around. Most plastic waste is buried in landfills where it can take a thousand years to decompose. But 8 million tons end up in the world's oceans where it's caught up in powerful currents and swept out to one of five plastic islands, swirling like gigantic rotating plug holes. These plastic islands are massive and they're getting bigger. The biggest in the North Pacific is almost three times the size of Texas. Conditions at sea are too harsh for bacteria to break the trash down. So it stays there, affecting 1,400 marine species. At one end of the marine food chain, plankton consume microplastics. Plankton are eaten by bigger fish, which are caught by fishermen. And that's how we get to eat our own trash, along with toxic plastic coatings such as phthalates and bisphenol A that can damage hormone production and even cause cancer. When it comes down to it, we face a simple choice. Continue to throw millions of tons of single-use plastic packaging into the ocean and into the food chain so it ends up on our dinner plates. Or, where possible, switch to molded fiber, which is biodegradable, recyclable, and made from renewable sources. Ultimately, you will be driving the change. In fact, though you may not realize it, you have already started. In the BBC's Blue Planet, David Attenborough showed the North Pacific Plastic Island. There was a public outcry, and very quickly, things started to happen. Major retailers around the world responded by pledging to cut down on single-use plastic packaging. The UN launched their Clean Seas campaign, and retailers in many states throughout North America are even banning plastic bags from their stores. And now, it's our turn.